Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. We're going to get cooking again today, and today what we're going to put together is beef stroganoff. This is a very good dish, and uh, I'm going to serve it in pastry shells. And this is the product that I'm using, puff pastry shells. This is a very nice way to get these shells because it makes it easy. And here they are. They're all already all cut out. You just snap them apart. So preheat your oven to 425 degrees. The oven must be hot. That's what makes them rise nice. You can put an egg wash on these if you want to, like one egg with about a teaspoon of water, a tablespoon of water, mix it all in. Brush it on, it gives them a nice shiny gold texture. That's up to you. We're just gonna do them like this today. But take them, lay them, in the pan. So I'm going to slip these in now and 18 to 20 minutes we'll come back and see what they look like. Oh look at there. Oop. Okay. They're nice and brown. They're all puffed up. Now what we want to do is leave them in here for about five minutes. We leave the oven open, and there's no catch on this oven, so we improvise. We just put a little stew, spoon right here, and that holds it open. We're going to bring them out. Now the fun part is to take the little tops off of them so that we can fill them. And you take a serrated knife, steak knife if you wish, and you just cut, cut around the top and you lift it off see how flaky it is all the different layers and the butter that's in there and then we have the empty shell that we can fill with our beef stroganoff so now what we're going to do, after we remove all these, we're going to put the beef stroganoff recipe together. Okay, now it's time to make the beef stroganoff to fill our little shells. So we start with putting a little bit of oil in the skillet. Tablespoon or so, you know, you can eyeball it whatever you think it's going to need. That's what I do. <laughs> and we add the meat. This is a pound and it's sirloin. Sirloin cut. This is uh, about one and a half cups of mushrooms that I'm adding to this to brown up. Okay, now we're going to brown this all up. Take a few minutes. Okay. This is browned real well. So we're going to now add our mushroom, I mean our gravy, and peas and carrots. And I'm going to add the peas. This is a package of frozen peas. And you can get these in your frozen food department with the onions already in them. However, if you know you're going to be serving this with your family that's not crazy about the, the onions or the peas, you can eliminate that. So I've chopped up, as you see, I had the onions here. I chopped up just a few to sprinkle in to give it that little onion flavor and then you can bite into that onion. I love onions. Now we want to bring this to a boil. So that'll take a few minutes here. But once it's come to a boil, then we get to do the fun part. We get to fill our little shells. I will also add in the sour cream just before we do that. Okay, we're going to turn it down now a little bit. 
about halfway. And we are going to now add in a fourth of a cup of sour cream. Because this is done. Isn't that beautiful? Can you see that? Does that make your mouth water? Does mine. Now let's fill our little cups. Our little pastry shells. I'm going to use a spoon for this since they are kind of demi tiny. Let's plate a couple of these. And there you go. These are really beautiful, aren't they? And they are going to taste wonderful. We have, look at what we have left over. What do you think we should do with this? We can't throw it away. So, let's see. Want to see what I'm going to do with it? Hang on. Well, this is what I did. I got my trusty pressure cooker out and I made some rice. I mean, what better bed could you have under this meal than rice? And this is wild rice. So we have some flavor here also. So let's do this and let's see how this turns out. I know how it's going to turn out. You're going to wish you were here. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh. I guess I'm getting kind of greedy here. Probably too much here. But how can you have too much rice? It's impossible. Now we put our beautiful stroganoff. on top of this. Isn't that beautiful? A nice place plate of wild rice with beef stroganoff on it. And keep coming back to my kitchen. I would love to have your company. So for now, bye-bye.